Hey y'all, welcome back to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad. This is kind of an impromptu video I'm gonna take advantage of because it's just it's just there for the right for the picking, I guess you could say. I was just headed to town to uh, get some fuel and gas can for the mower and whatnot. And the wife wanted to need some sugar or something to make a pie. So I was heading to town with an old buddy. You can see him back there in the background. And uh top the hill over here. And I can tell someone, something looked like something was dragging in the middle of, middle of the lane and fluid going everywhere. I didn't know what it was. And I got closer, kept getting closer. And I realized the guy was broke down in this little, little short bed Chevy here. I'll give you a little bit of a look at what's going on in the highway real quick. I know it's hard to see you up this way. Uh, a little bit of traffic, so I'm not gonna go walking up the road, but all the way to the top of that hill, all the way down here, it was fluid. And then right in the middle of that fluid on up there was just drag marks where something was dragging it. So I stopped to see if this old boy was needing any help. Now we're gonna go up the road there and turn around and come back and see if we can find this old boy's drive shaft and kind of give you an idea what the pavement looks like. Uh, this is where actually Looks like it first hit the ground. I'd say those marks are probably from the drive shaft. You can see skid marks. The drive shaft I actually found is sitting up there right in front of Buddy. That must have been one heck of a ride. Now, that may not be black marks from skid. I think it's just tracks from the uh, transmission fluid on the tires probably. But it goes clear up there where that car is. I don't know if you can see it or not. It was clear up there quite a ways. About a quarter mile long. We'll get this drive shaft picked up for him. I'll give it back to him whenever he comes to get the transmission. I don't know how bad a shape it's in. It's it's bent. Yep. Yeah. I hate that for the guy. But it happens. Yeah, this is a pretty nice looking little 84 Chevy. No rust on. I've seen this truck around town before. Didn't know the guy. So I thought I'd stop being a fellow square body guy and see what happened. Check this out. That's a Turbo 400 dragging the ground. I've never seen anything like that before. Let's see what else he's got. Well, it tore that heat shield up. Man. It made a mess, just busted the bell housing plumb off of it. Yeah, the story behind this is, is he, uh, he had a worn out 305 in this old truck, which I'm pretty familiar with worn out 305s, and if you've been a part of this channel, you know about worn out 305s too, but he wasn't gonna do what I'm doing with mine. Uh, so he, he got a motor home for a good price with the 454, the turbo 400 transmission, and he slid that right down in this little truck. You can see that right here. It's a clean old motor. He said it's only got about 5,000 miles on it. So, got all the receipts and everything for the motor home. He just slid it down in here. And I don't know if this is his first drive with it or what, but it's the first time he said he got on it. And they said they was doing probably over 100 miles an hour, close to 100 miles an hour, when he ever he stomped on it. And uh, all hell broke loose. And that transmission let go on him. That, was, that must have been a heck of a ride. Uh, but I know this is kind of a short video, not a whole lot to it other than it's square body stuff. It happens to everybody. Uh, hate to hate to capitalize on somebody else's misfortune, but uh, the old boy was pretty cool about it. Uh, he was okay with me taking videos of it. He just left the truck with me and said, "Whatever you need to take videos of it, just have at it." So that's that's the story. Just thought I'd share it with y'all. Uh, I've got a transmission actually. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna make a deal on the transmission. I'm gonna use Turbo 400. He's gonna come by and or send somebody to come get it. So 
I'll be able to help him get his truck back on the road because this is a nice little truck. Uh, I like to see it on the road. So we'll end it off here. Thank you all for watching. Till next time, y'all keep your square bodies rolling. Don't dump the transmission out on the highway. And we'll catch you later.